Hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here. Welcome to my advanced in the mountain cliff house cave tutorial that's advanced. I don't really know how to describe it, but I show you how to do literally everything I've done in this build. Full enchantment table, another wart farm over here, brewing station. You got a nice little cauldron slash sink thing, a really cool bedroom. I show you how to build chest storage. Furnaces everything you need to live and basically it's the best thing ever so you guys should totally stay watch the whole tutorial So yeah, let's get to it All right So for this cliff mountain house underground thingy you are going to need the materials found on my hot bar below These three on the end right here These are definitely optional But if you want to make your build look well not the cobblestone But if you want to make your build look a lot better You're gonna need some glowstone and not dark oak leaves. I'm not sure why I grabbed those oak leaves so basically, you just want to find a mountain. I've uh, found this mountain by this is my advanced mountain house tutorial. If you haven't looked at that one, you definitely should, and that's my advanced tree house for this. Anyways, I'm getting off topic here. So there's a beautiful waterfall, and I'm going to have to be uh, sort of stupid and remove it. But anyways, you want to find a big cliff face like this, and you want to make sure there is at least a 7x7 seven seven area for you to build at. So you can just count that out, and maybe a little bit smaller is okay, but 7x7 seven seven is going to be optimal here so we'll just make this look semi-natural that doesn't look too bad or anything so you can go ahead and just break down layers if you need to and you'll you can figure out a cool entrance way you can just do some stairs or ladders up or anything but basically this is one two three four five six seven so this is already too big so one two three four five six well one two three four five six seven uh one two three four five six seven one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And you just want to have that area drilled out, so I did make it one too small. Uh, one too small. Not one too small. I'm I'm not wording today. Uh, one too big. And you want to make sure over the top you just have some overhead like this, so you can just make it look as natural as you'd like. It's not a huge deal if it doesn't look like that. But the first step is to basically on the inside of this. This is just markers for how big it's going to be. So you want to just place some logs like that. You're not actually going to need to build that. And those are going to be on the interior of these 7x7 seven seven things. And you want to build them up 3 high. So let's go ahead and mark it there. 1, 2, 1, 2. So that way they should be 3 high. Then on the top, you want to just connect them like this. And you want to put some stairs going inside like that. And then on the front, you want to just do some fences. It's just going to add the effect of the build. Now, you're just, you can make whatever sort of entrance you want. I'm not really going to do an entrance, but I'm sure you guys can figure out one. And these only need to go down to the floor. So for in instance, if your stone floor into right there, you'd end those right there. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to bring them down just so they, oh, that's not it. Uh, bring them down so they look okay. Then, uh, you want to bring them up one to the stair. And then right here, you want to take your oak wood planks and you want to just build those up. And then build that on top. That's going to give you a nice little entrance. So we're going to go ahead and dig this in here. So this is going to be one, two, three, and four into the mountain. So just dig four into the mountain in a three by three sort of hole like this. And you want to go ahead and just start your flooring, so you're just going to use cobblestone. And actually, on this right here, we're going to use the logs and do that. So now we're going to go inside here. We're going to add the floor as a cobblestone sort of material. Not sort of. It is exactly cobblestone. And I'm fumbling with my words, and I do not feel too smart right now. So the ceiling and walls are going to be made of oak wood. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that up real quick. So the next step is to decide how big you want your room to be. So there's some gravel here, which everyone hates. But I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, come on, gravel. There we go. Uh, you're, gonna, you're just going to want this to be three high, and you can go ahead and just fill in the roof and then the floor with cobblestone and everything else. How it was before. So I'm just going to do a room that's this big, for example. So this is going to be one. Well, actually, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five from the edge. So one, two, three, four, and five. So this is going to be a total of... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You want to make sure it's an odd number, and we're going to do the same thing back, so we're going to measure this out. I'm going to break all this gravel real quick because it gets in the way when I'm doing the tutorial type stuff. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Then you just want to drill out this entire thing until you have a 13 uh, 13 by 13 room that is three high so i'm gonna go ahead and just drill that out in here and show you guys what it looks like in a second all right be right back all right there we go a 13 by 13 by 3 room and the next step is to basically just fill this entire floor in with cobblestone like this fill in uh all the walls here uh with oh gravel come on all of the walls with uh uh well i'm i can't talk oak wood planks and then the ceiling with everything and just go ahead and do that all the way around the room. I'm not going to make you guys watch that. I don't want to bore you out of your mind. So I'm going to do that and then come right back. So 
By the way guys, as I'm doing this, please leave a like if you show uh, that you hate gravel. Leave a like if you hate gravel as well. Go ahead and tell me in the comment section right now as I'm doing a little bit of this uh, filling in and tell me why exactly do you guys hate gravel. Everyone hates gravel in Minecraft, not really sure why. It's uh, In my opinion, it's ugly. It gets in the way. I don't think it's needed for anything. It has no uses beyond flint. And I think flint should be obtained through just mining cobblestone. Like maybe one in every 64 blocks gives you a piece of flint or something. My mouth just filled up with saliva and I sounded kind of weird when I talked. That's inappropriate and TMI. But anyways, guys, yeah, tell me in the comment section right now and leave a like if you hate gravel. And tell me in the comment section why you guys hate gravel. Okay, I'm going to continue finishing this and come right back. Sorry. And there we oh, There we go. We are finally complete with this amazing room. That took much longer than expected, so I'm really glad I didn't record that. So the first step is to go ahead and I'm not really sure why that's happening. It's just a little glitch where, like, when you turn around, it, like unloads the chunks behind me so I'm sorry if that gets annoying uh, we'll go ahead and light, light the room up a little bit so we're gonna use some torches and basically in the corner of your 13 by 13 room you're just going to place some torches on these logs just gonna add a little bit of lighting effect to the room it's gonna make it look quite nice and another thing about this build is you see these little entrance beams right here you're going to do the same sort of thing here so we're just gonna do that oh we're just gonna do that and uh, we're gonna put torches up there too and yeah, not in the inside actually for on those because we're gonna leave that for some chest storage space So in here you can basically do whatever you want um, It's not really super important that you do anything specific in here But I'm gonna go ahead and just bring this side back one in like this and then I'm going to Does that come out to the outside it does okay my bad don't do that <laughs> Uh, disregard everything I've just said. Go ahead and fill this in completely. This is just going to be the entrance. You can fancy it up if you'd like, if you have more space on the outside. I guess what we could do, though, honestly, in all honesty, can I, no. Uh, yeah, uh, never mind. Uh, but you could do some chest storage space back here like this. So you could just put some glowstone under these blocks. Then you could do some half slabs for the stairs so that they're not solid blocks. You can take your chests and you can just basically fill these up with whatever you'd like and just have a little bit more storage space. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Uh, fill the top in with slabs and then the back with oak wood. Uh, and then under here we're going to do glowstone Then we're just going to fill them in with chests. And this just gives you some extra storage space as you walk in, I guess. And you can even take some furnaces. We're just going to make this the most advanced build we can make it. So we're going to put that there. And then on top of this one... We'll go ahead and just put this here, and then we're just going to do a pot, and we're just going to put a cactus, because everyone loves cacti, and as soon as you walk in, you're going to see a cacti, and you're going to be like, wow, this is an amazing build by the Neo Cubist, of course, who else? And then we're going to take a painting, and I'm not trying to sound all self-centered there, and like, overly bearing about how good I am, I'm really not that good at build. Oh, no, I messed up two times in a row. That's how you know I'm off my game, guys. Anyways, that looks pretty snazzy, so we're going to go ahead and keep it there. Or, shall I say, su super spazzy. I said that one time, and I was very confused with myself. Anyways, we're going to find the center of the build, so I'm just doing something stupid here and using a very, very, very resource-intensive way of doing so. We're just going to find the center, and we are going to do a pillar up just to add some more support for the center, because it looks kind of odd that the center would have no support. And these just add to that effect, I guess. And then up there you can do some more torches. This adds some light to the center of your build. Now on the walls here, you can do what you'd like for lighting. Uh, you can leave the torches there, or you can do something like this and just have a, uh, a space like that and do three. So find the center, and then do one apart, one apart. Find the center, do one apart, one apart. And you can tell I've been playing Minecraft for a while because I found the center exactly. Anyways, I'm going to grab the, all the interior decorating materials, and I'm going to come right back. So see you guys in a second. So I've got some big aspirations for this build, so I'm going to figure out which side of the mountain is thicker so I can know which side I can do stuff on. Uh, it looks like the back is going to be where we're going to have to go the deepest. And uh, we're basically just going to take this right here, and we're going to drill out another 3x3 hole. We're going to take this uh, port beam. We're going to build it up. Sorry, I'm questioning myself here. And then we're just going to take this back, and then we're going to do a little bit of an enchanting room back here. So we're just going to drill this out, extend the cobblestone back. And then just break this out like this, and of course, I keep saying like this because I'm just showing you. I'm not trying to say like this a lot because if this was like a uh, t tutorial that was just with my voice, this would probably make no sense because I keep saying like this. And uh, anyways, uh, off on my tangent again, I'm just building a room here that's going to be perfectly sized to fit some bookcases around it to have a nice little uh, uh, enchantment room here. So we're just going to take the bookcases and we're just going to stack them up too high like this all the way around and of course this wouldn't be complete if we didn't grab some glowstones let's see if we can do so right there perfect 
fly over there at max speed. We're going to take the glowstone. We're going to fill it up at the top. And then we're going to take some trapdoors and do something I like to call the Neo effect. Uh, it's not really the Neo effect. That sounds stupid. Don't ever say that. Ever. Um, we're just going to put trapdoors everywhere we can. Then we're going to take the top here. We're going to fill it with oak wood so it doesn't look all weird. Now you have a full enchantment table. And then right here, uh, you can break this out. You can put a trapdoor there. You can fill this in. And uh, you can do a stair. Oh. You can do a stair. Actually, we're going to put a uh, anvil right there. And then on this side, we can do what I was trying to say. And we can put a stair and a pot with a blue orchid. Because if you don't have a blue orchid, like I said a million times, by the way, leave a like for the blue orchid. Also, if you're new to my channel, you're probably really confused. I do a blue orchid in every one of my builds. And if you're not subscribed to me, you've made a mistake. Let's be honest here. Uh, one of the best simple builders on YouTube. I do a lot of tutorials like this and more. So if you're not subscribed and you'd like to see more tutorials like this, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Self, same, <laughs> Sameless self promote shame. Oh my gosh. Shame, shame, shame. Shameless self promoting. I can't talk today. Uh, this one looks weird, so we're just going to extend that book one up. Then we're going to verify that it works. We're going to take an axe that is wooden because that is the best tool of them all. And we're going to see, yep, level 30. We got unbreaking three efficiency four. That's actually really fast. Like, that's really fast. L let's go in survival and go test that. Okay, we're in survival. Okay, that's really, really, really fast for a uh, wooden tool. Anyways, uh, back to the tutorial uh, before I uh, embarrass myself anymore. I just wanted to see how good that was. That's actually really, really good. By the way, uh, if you don't want to make this weird, extend those down so that it looks a little bit better and your entrance is going to look a little more fancy. Uh, also, I forgot, uh, on the outside, you're going to want to do some sort of lighting. So if you don't have lighting, your build's going to look very dim at night, and that's not good. So we're just going to do some torches on the sides here. We'll do three. Sort of a stacked area. That makes it look nice. I like the entranceway. I like this over here. Uh, we might as well do an illegal nether wart farm because we don't have one of those yet. So let's take a trap door. Uh, let's put it on this block. Then let's hold down shift or whatever key it is. I'm pretty sure you can just look at this block and place it. And we'll go ahead and just do an illegal nether wart farm back here. I mean, why not? Uh, it's not actually illegal, by the way. I'm completely joking when I say that. Uh, if nether wart was illegal, there would be a lot of black market for it because it's used in awkward potions all around Minecraftia. Which I think is the name for the Minecraft world. I don't know. It sounds kind of silly to me, but then again, I'm uh, then again, I'm showing you guys how to. Do it. Anyways, uh, enough with my tangents. Uh, we're just putting glowstone uh, up here. You don't have to use glowstone. You can just use torches for lighting, but it's gonna look a little bit better if we use that. Then we're gonna take some some trap doors. We're gonna place them on top. Then we're gonna take some soul sand, and we are going to put it right here. Then we're gonna take our nether wart. And we are just going to fill this in right here, and then we have our legal nether wart farm. Now you can do whatever you'd like. You could put more trap doors right here. I think that'd look kind of nice. Just gives it a nice little uh, uniform effect. And then right here, we can do an infinite water source. Basically, all you do for that, pretty simple, pretty easy. You won't even be able to see that block, so it's not going to bother me too much. But uh, basically, all you do is you take some water, you make a two by two hole, you place it in each corner. Then it becomes infinite. Uh, I guess you could use a cauldron, but then again, uh, I'm not. I'm not feeling too smart today. So we could just fill this in like that, and you have an infinite water thing back there. Or you could just be uh, smart and do a cauldron, and put that like right there and fill it with water. And then since that doesn't have a use in this build, we'll take a lever, place it above that, make it look like a sink or a, a, a thing. Something, I'm not really sure. Anyways, let's make a bedroom area. So I think this side of the mountain was pretty big. So we will go ahead and divide that off. So on the outside of these torches here, we're just going to divide that. And we're going to divide that. And these torches are more here for marking uh, than anything. And we're just going to bring this back. And it's not going to be cobblestone anymore. We're going to change this to green wool. We're going to have a green wool. Green wool. We are going to make this a green themed bedroom. Because some people like the color green. I like the color green. It's not my favorite, but it is a pretty beautiful color, uh, if I do say so myself. So we're going to make a green bedroom. We're going to add the supports here in the corners. Uh, that's already walled off appropriately. Everything looked good. It's looking good. We're going to fill in this with oak wood everywhere. And then we're going to fill in the floor with green wool. So I'm going to do that and come right back before I waste any more of your valuable, valuable time. Where's F12? There it is. There we go. No valuable time wasted. We're going to take some torches. We're going to place those right there and right there. And then, of course, in the corners here so that you are not blinded by the fact that you have no light, which actually contradicts itself because blinded would mean too much light. But hey, who's guessing? Uh, it doesn't make sense. Who's guessing? Anyways, um, I'm going to fill this in with glowstone like this. Uh, nope, not like that. Uh, like this. 
and we're gonna do a cool little lighting thing here So we're gonna do the same thing over here and We're only gonna do it on one wall because it's a complete waste of glowstone and space and if you do more than one uh, Probably not the best move. So we're gonna place stairs interior to each other like that then uh, on this block We're not gonna do anything and we're gonna do the same thing up here Then we're gonna take some wood We're gonna place it right there and right there that looks okay because that's part of the support for the entire building We're gonna fill that in with glass that adds a nice little lighting effect and I guess if you wanted this to be even more, like, uh, not secure, I guess, but, uh, sort of walled off because it is a bedroom, uh, you could do something like that. Uh, well, we'll do it from the bottom. That'll look better. Eh, no, it doesn't look better. We could do something like that, and then maybe, hmm, I'm trying to think here what would look cool. Oh, uh, that doesn't look cool. Uh, we'll just do something like that. I think that looks okay. Maybe not. Uh... Stair. There we go. That looks a lot better. I don't know why I was struggling to figure that out. I also just realized that the, on the inside of this build, there's no uh, sort of protection. So we're going to take some fences. We're going to put them right there. Then we're going to take a fence gate. We're going to place that up there. And then we can just do a fence in the corner there. And, well, you're not going to be really walking there, so it's not a huge deal. Then we can just do a slab across. Well, no, there's nothing that can jump over that. All right, perfect. That looks cool. From the outside, how does it look? I actually really like the way that looks. Alright, awesome. And this build is turning out way better than I thought. This is definitely an advanced build because a lot of stuff. This looks really weird. Um, I don't really know how to fix that. Oh, that, okay. See, I don't know how to fix that. I was lying because I totally just, totally just fixed that hardcore and put stair there. And now that looks, okay, awesome. Anyways, back to the bedroom. So, if it's a bedroom, we can make this a two-person house. Let's go ahead and put two beds here. Let's take some bookcases and make, put down a useless bookcase for our looks. We're going to take a pot and we're going to take a green, uh, probably another cactus, I guess. What else is green in here? Nothing, but we need a cactus. We're going to put a cactus here. And we're going to take some leaves, some leafies, some leafies, uh, some oak wood leaves. We're going to put them right there and we're going to add a nice little leaf effect. That would look a lot better if you didn't, if you had your graphics on uh, fancy, which I don't for recording. Just makes everything a little bit better. Uh, actually, it doesn't affect my FPS whatsoever, so never mind. Uh, disregard that. But yeah, we can put some leaves right there, make that look pretty cool. Uh, it actually looks a little bit weird. Um, I know what we can do. There we go. Man, who needs a bed when you have a cactus? Just sleep on the cactus, right? Like, that'll make everything a lot less painful. Uh, I think that looks really cool. Uh, this interior design is going hard right now. Uh, I promise I don't talk like that in real life, whoever's listening. And would care how I talk in real life. That's not how I talk in real life. Anyway, so uh, we're going to take some chests. We're going to place those here. And we're just going to fill up this wall. Not sure why there's a rogue piece of glowstone right there. That is definitely not needed. But I guess it was needed because I should have middle clicked it to put it in my hotbar. But I didn't. So we can just have a chest storage area right here. We can do uh, two chests. And then we can do... Well, we can just do three stack chests. And then right here we can have a crap crafting table and we can do a crafting table and then what else would you need in your bedroom crafting table well if you're like some people you need a lot of plants in your room so we'll just go ahead and put another cactus there uh, I mean why not right um, cactus we'll do another one and then we'll do another painting because why not oh that's not good there we go perfect and then on this wall uh, we can fill that in what's under there I will do green wool We'll do, let's see, uh, we'll do a line of furnaces because we don't have enough furnaces in this build and you can just melt your stuff right there. Anyways, that's a pretty cool bedroom if I do say so myself. I actually really like the way that turned out, so leave a like for that bedroom. Let's see if we can get a thousand likes. I know I've asked for likes a lot, but they just show me that you're liking what I'm doing and I like to know that you're liking what I'm doing in a non-weird way, I promise. It's just helpful because if I don't know, then I don't know what to do. But anyways, leave a like if you like this build so far. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I promise, I don't normally say that so much, but it's just like a, it's just a thing, you know, sometimes I like to hear. Uh, we're just going to put some useless ladders there, we're going to have a crafting table, we're going to do two upside down stairs right there, again, more useless stuff, but it makes the build have depth, makes it have more perception, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, then we can put a, two, two more useless pots with two more useless plants that don't do anything, so, unless they're cactuses, cactuses do everything, they... Literally are the lifeline of this world. So we're going to do this. And we're going to do a blue. Az azure blue it. It's not blue. I promise. I'm not colorblind. That yeah, looks kind of pretty. And then if I break into this back area, it's going to look weird. So we will just take uh, 
ender chests. Uh, I think I can only do... Oh, no, I can do two ender chests like that. And then we can do at the top here. Let's take some of these. And uh, if you need some more potion brewing stuff, you can just come over here to Lee's Expressive Shop. I said my name. My name's Lee in real life, by the way, but call me Neo. I don't really, I mean, I don't, I don't care if you call me Lee, I guess, but Neo would just be kind of weird. Anyways, let's go ahead and fill in this area right here, too. I think we should just do some useless glow... S uh, we should do some useless glowstone and leaves, leaves over here. Uh, I, I don't know why I'm saying it the annoying wrong way, but hey, this interior, by the way, is taking forever to do because because I don't really know why. Uh, those leaves look nice. What could I do to make this look even more useless and good? We could put some stairs here, some stairs here. We could take some slabs, make it look like super cool and modern, and that's, that actually looks really cool. I like that. So we have a bedroom. Uh, we, we don't have a chest area, so we'll go ahead and do a chest area. So uh, we'll do two right here. On the outside of this, we'll do two right here. Uh, these are just going to be giant chest areas, so we're going to take our glowstone. We're not going to take our glowstone, we're going to take our glowstone. Use proper grammar. If you don't use proper grammar, you're going to grow up, and uh, you're not going to do too well, because people are going to be like, hey, that person isn't too, too smart, because they're not saying the right grammar. So uh, there's a reason they teach you grammar in school. I know it seems useless now, and uh, honestly, 90% of it is useless, but a lot of it isn't, so listen. Listen, listen, listen. If I have to give one piece of advice about high school, elementary school, middle school, all that stuff, is just just do the work. I know it sucks, but just do it, and uh, everything will turn out okay, I promise. I know at the time it doesn't seem like the best thing in the world, but honestly, it's it's not too bad. Anyways, if you're like me, and you like... Mm, well, oh, does that look okay? Does that look okay? No. Um... Yeah, no, that doesn't look okay. Never mind. Uh, this middle area here, we're just gonna fill in with some more oak wood. And, uh, let's see. Let me figure out something to put in here. Let's see. We have everything else we need, so we can just do some stairs like this. Uh, stairs like this with a slab in the middle, and we can fill this in with some pots. We can do some more useless plants. Uh, that look cool. I'm not- I'm not saying plants are useless in any way, I'm just saying that plants typically in Minecraft aren't too useful because they don't really have a use besides looking pretty. But I guess in real life- is that two of the same color? Okay, that does not look okay. We're gonna put a-, a Oh, it's a stubborn flower pot. Uh, we're gonna take some torches, we're gonna add those interiorly adjacent, opposite interior adjacent- I don't know. I almost failed geometry if I'm being completely honest here, so I'm not too good at it. Uh, let's go ahead and put some glowstone two back in here. Yeah, two back was the rapper who uh, tried to mimic Tupac and really failed. His name was Two Back. If you guys didn't know, uh, I'm making that up. By the way, that's not true at all. I'm not okay. I'm embarrassing myself. All right, let's fill these in like this. Now we have a cool, useless lighting effect over there. This build looks quite nice. I really, really like this. If you guys feel the same way, click that like button below. Click subscribe if you're not uh, subscribed to my channel. You can follow my Twitter. Link to that's in the description below. Link to my music, shader pack, and texture packs also in the description below. If you guys would like to see more content like this and more, click that subscribe button. Make sure to leave a like. Let's try to get 1,000 likes on this advanced cliff, mountain, house, side, interior, underground house. Don't even know what to name this, but I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out. I'm a smart guy. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Uh, send me the pics of this build and any of your builds on Twitter. I'll make sure to follow, retweet, all that cool stuff. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Thousand likes if you're not uh, subscribed to me already. Subscribe. I've said that three times now. I just want to get, th get it through your heads because I know sometimes you're not thinking about things. But scroll down there, comment. Leave a like if you hate gravel and tell me why exactly do you hate gravel. Put that in the comment section. Love to hear your opinions on why you hate gravel. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate all the feedback and growth I'm having on my channel. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye. By the way, that, that's the most I've ever talked in a video, so that's pretty cool. Um, anyways, alright, bye.